This is going to be the wall framing video for the shed locker. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by making a 2x4, which we know by now measures 1.5 by 3.5. All our boards are going to be the same size, 7 foot 2 and 5 eighths long. So we're going to start out with a 2x4, which measures 1.5 inches and 3.5 inches. Okay. Jabroni, can you please come to the main office and Jabroni? Let's start this again. <coughs> this is going to be the wall framing video uh, for the shed locker. All our boards are going to be 7 foot 2 and 5 eighths of an inch long, and we're going to be using 2 by 4s, which we know by now measure 1 and a half by 3 and a half. So let's start out by making a 2 by 4, 1.5 inches, 3.5 inches. Okay. Let's make it 7 foot 2 and 5 eighths of an inch long. Let's turn that into a component, like so. Okay, so this is what our spacing is going to be for our walls. So let's start with the short wall. I'm going to start with a board on the beginning and the end. So let's just go over here. I'm grabbing it by the corner. Like so. I'm going to drop it off. And like so. Now it has a spacing of 1 foot 4 inches. If you want to convert that purely into inches, it's 16 inches. So I'm going to quickly grab my move tool, hold the control button down. Riding along that line, I'm going to type in 16 inches. Now, like I said, if you want to use 1 foot 4 inches, you can do that as well. Okay, so we've got that wall done. Okay, back to our instructions. Now, the board spacing for the front, where the doorway is is from beginning to beginning seven and a half. So it is symmetrical. Okay, so let's just bring out a board. And we're gonna have to spin that around 90 degrees. So let's get our rotator, put it on top, make sure it's sitting flat. Now I'm gonna have it go straight out. <laughs> it's a green line. Uh, you'll be able to see that green axis in the background. So that means it's straight. I'm going to start bringing it over to 90 and then click. If you can't get that to work, just get it started and type in 90, enter. Okay. Okay, drop that one off. Let's drop one off at the other end. And 7.5 and is our spacing. Let's go 7.5 if you're an inch person. And if you're purely fractional, let's just go with fractions. Go seven space, one half inches. There you go. And let's do the boards in the back. Check our instructions. So it's three and a half. So we're gonna start with a board on each end, which is quite typical. So let's just hold our control button down to grab that and drop one off over here. Now oh, three and a half, three and a half, symmetrical spacing. I'll show you why that is momentarily. Okay. 
If you look inside, it gives us a corner board to nail in the event that we want to put some uh, plywood on the walls. We have something to screw into or nail to in the corners. Okay, let's look at our other spacing, one and a half, four and a half. Okay, let's go. Oops, my mistake. That's one foot, one half inch. So one foot, one half of an inch. And the other one is one foot, four inches or 16 inches. Okay. Now I will brief, I'll kind of start it off, but I'm not going to go to completion. I would ask that you include the measurements that were given to you in your assignment in order to get full marks. That concludes this video for the Shed Locker.